welcome back guys so today we are going to start part b of our question 15 so what is in part b so here again we are going to find the value of v1 and v2 by using the voltage divider rule okay so again following the same procedure here but first of all let me calculate the total impedance okay so the only difference between the previous circuit and this circuit is that previously we had two impedances the first one was the resistor while the second one was the inductor while here we have three impedances and from these three we have to find the voltages across two of them okay uh, so what do we have to do many students find it difficult to calculate the voltages across the subset of the elements if more than the desired number of voltages impedances are available okay so here we want to find out z of t so z of t is what so here we have this resistance this impedance and this impedance as well so let me calculate them so 6.8 okay plus j40 which is for this inductive reactance okay and similarly this 22 now calculating it what i will get z of t will be equal to 6.8 plus 22 real was with real and plus j40 okay what will we get here so ultimately total impedance will be 6.8 plus 22 is 28.8 and this is plus j40 so this is the impedance in rectangular form what we have to do let me change it to the polar form as well because we may need it so that z of t is 28.8 plus 40 with the iota here so where this one okay or this one here okay uh, now converting it into the polar form let me press shift and then this and now three so it will be what 49.28 49.3 okay and that is the ohm while the phase angle associated with it is 54.25 54.25 to 5 degrees okay so that is the total impedance now what we have to do let me represent this one with v1 we want to calculate this v1 and also this v2 okay so now let me calculate them here so we know that according to the law v1 is equal to that is v1 and that is equal to this uh, 40 ohm inductive reactance so here it would be j xl or j 40 divided by the total impedance which is already calculated here so that would be 49.3 with an angle of 54.25 degrees okay and multiplied with the total voltage which is sorry which is this one here that is e equal to 60 volt with the 5 degree here so 60 with the 5 degree okay so now all the terms here i can see that the operations involved here are basically the division and multiplication so all the terms should be in polar form in order to calculate all the required quantities in a very simplified or easy manner okay so therefore this one is basically in the rectangular form so let me convert it into the polar form when it will be converted into polar forms j will be removed here and it would be here 90 degrees okay because i have previously explained in the video which i will again put link over here so it will show you that when you will remove j from here you will have to use the angle of 90 degree okay so now let me calculate the value of v1 so value of v1 will be 40 multiplied by 60 divided by 49.3 these are all the magnitudes of all the phasors similarly the angles here are 90 degree which are all the numerator so plus 5 degree these are the numerators here while the denominator term will be subtracted from here okay so now let me calculate them so 40 multiplied by 60 
So that is 2400 divided by 49.3. So it would be how much? That is 48.68. Okay. And as this is in volt, so let me write volt here. And now in order to calculate the angles, so what I have to do, let me write here 90 plus 5 minus 54.25. Okay. So that would be how much? It would be 40.75. 40.75. So that is the value of V1. Okay. Uh, similarly, now in order to find the value of V2, let me use the green color here and that is V2 and the concerned value of the resistor across which I have, I want to find out the voltage. So, that is 22 divided by the total impedance. Okay. So, 22, 22 ohm divided by the total impedance which is 49.3 with the angle of 54.25 degrees and multiplied by the total voltage and the total voltage applied across it is 60 with an angle of 5 degrees. Okay. So, here V2 will be equal to as this is a resistor. So, resistor is basically the linear term. So, the angle associated with it will be 0 degrees. Okay. So, here it would be 22 multiplied by 60 divided by 49.3 it would be and here the angles will be 0 plus 5 degree because both are here in the numerator and the denominator term will be subtracted here. So, 54.25 degrees. Okay. So, now let me calculate it. Okay. Uh, so, 22 multiplied by 60 that is 1320 divided by 49.3 and it would be 26.77 point 77 volts with an angle of here let me use it so 0 plus 5 is 5 5 minus uh, 54.25 is minus 49.25 25 degrees. Okay. So, that is the value of what that is the value of V2. Okay. So, that is it for today in which we have calculated the values of V1 and V2 in part B of our question. Here the sole difference between the circuits is that here we are having these three resistors, but what I want to find out I want to find out the voltages across the other two resistors. Uh, so, students usually make it very difficult to find the values here because they see that these are the two resistors. Okay. So, they usually find the impedance or the total impedance which is the combination of J 40 plus 22, okay. but that basically is not the total impedance. Total impedance also consists of this one. Okay. So, that is why I first of all calculated the value of Z of T which is basically composed of 6.8 J 40 and then 22. Okay. So, that is the essence of this question in which uh, I have solved the mystery of these type of circuits. Okay. So, that is it for today and I will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video. Thank you so much and see you soon.